there. Burn my walls. We're over at Paul's house right now. So that's actually the, the little addition, ADU, additional dwelling unit he's building. And he's a little salty that, that the city and county <laughs> made him put sprinklers in there because he's using his SIPS panels and uh, they're pretty fire resistant. So he wanted to do a little little torching thing today just to show how fire resistant they are. So we're gonna do that and uh, I'll let him kind of explain what the SIPS panels are, how they work. Maybe you go in there and- Sure, yeah, sure, go. Okay, so these are SIP panels. Uh, the word SIP stands for Structural Insulated Panels. So with these panels, you don't need wood framing, rebar, or concrete, or anything like that because they're structural. You can go up three levels high with this without any of those wood framing, rebar, and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I love this product. And what I'm gonna talk about today is ADUs. This above me is uh, Hawaii's very first ADU that's disaster resistant. ADU stands for Accessory Dwelling Unit. I got my permits, you can barely see them in the window there. Uh, so it's all legal, okay? So, but we're gonna talk about these SIP panels. They come in the size of a piece of like drywall, four by eight. And I cut the piece off for this demonstration. This is a foam, so it's insulated. And we use magnesium oxide board for, for this project. Magnesium oxide board is uh, non-combustible. So that's why I'm so mad at Sydney County for making me use sprinklers. This stuff cannot be lit on fire and I'm gonna prove it today. And it's adding a few thousand bucks to my project. So I'm a little salty, thank you for that word. <laughs> but anyway, before we go up the stairs, I wanna show you how this thing goes together. Boy Scouts can do this, trust me. We use Boy Scouts when we learn about this. All you need to do is put a piece of two by four or two by six, bolt it into the slab of whatever your project is. And the SIP panels simply fits right over that like this okay that's it and then you screw it every six inches you put a screw there every six inches you put a screw going up as well and if you want to connect two SIP panels you put another two by six or two by four right here and you connect another SIP panel and then you put screws in it this makes the whole structure monolithic means it becomes one with the foundation so earthquakes fire High wind, termites don't like this stuff. It's perfect for Hawaii. The wind rating, we have this tested up to 200 miles an hour wind. So it's more like 600 miles an hour, but we have to say 200. Wind does not take this down. Earthquakes, most buildings will collapse at six or seven on a record scale. Uh, we've had this tested up to 21, okay? So the whole earth would fall apart before this, this thing will fall apart. <laughs> but I'm not exaggerating. Okay, so anyway, so I wanna, I wanna take you up to the actual project now, and you can see how strong this house is. Uh, we're gonna do a few demonstrations for you, okay? Okay, so here you have it. This wall separating my two bedrooms is made out of zips. You see, it's got screws in it, on the top and the bottom, every six inches apart. What I'm gonna do is demonstrate, in fact, I'm gonna let Jeremy demonstrate a little bit. So, uh, here's a hammer, and this is my house. I'm in debt with this thing, so I'm trusting that nothing's gonna happen. So I want you to take the hammer and just start pounding on the walls here. Little indentations, but the integrity is not compromised. Okay? That's the hammer test, all right? You try that with drywall and tell me what's gonna happen, all right? But here's the fun part now. Jeremy, would you like to do the honors thing? Yeah, for sure. Remember, this thing spits out about 5,000 BTUs of heat. You get the gases on, put your goggles on. No problem. All right. Right there, burn my walls.
so my message to the city and county, why are you making me put fire sprinklers in a fireproof house? Doesn't make sense. Please reconsider. <laughs>